the mayor of Yonkers with us right now. This is Mike Spano joining us. Mike, let us know how, how are you guys handling things over there in Yonkers? You know what? We were we were having a staff meeting uh, when this happened. It was uh, I, I guess it was anywhere from 15 to 20 seconds, whoever you talk to. Yeah. But, uh, it was um, you know it kind of obviously it's a very unsettling moment. And you know I've been through tremors before, and but that was probably one of the longer ones I've ever uh, yeah. experienced You've in heard my that. life. But yeah, but yeah, but but people lit up our phones. Uh, 911 calls, uh, calls to um, the mayor's helpline, uh, just hundreds upon hundreds. And um, you know, listen, there's no damage. Uh, the schools are okay. The kids are okay. Uh, the community's okay. Uh, it was a scary ride, but uh, but everything's okay and life is normal. So uh, we just want to make sure we assure everyone of that. Um, you know, especially I, I'm getting lots of calls from kids in the schools and the parents mm -hmm. or in the schools saying, you know, should they come pick up their kids? Are there any damages to the school? No, there's no damage uh, that we can see anywhere uh, at this point. And so we'll, uh, but we'll continue to monitor it. I mean, that's the thing. It, it's not, Mayor, you, you can attest this. Not as often do we see a 4.8. You said it yourself. You never felt anything um, this strong. So you understand what, what people are experiencing. And a lot of the people who live in Yonkers are working here in New York City um, oh, experiencing absolutely. this. So have you been in contact with New York City officials at all, potentially, about, about anything? Um, we, we obviously have a connection of... Um um, people that we deal with, especially with the emergency um, management, and uh, and so far everyone has experienced the same thing. It was a, a long earthquake. It was a scary earthquake, but uh, no one, at least in our area, is reporting any type of damage uh, at all. So. Tell us, Mike, um, exactly what happens after an event like this, because you feel very confident that there's no damage and things are looking good. So what is the assessment? Are you basing it on the calls that you're getting in? Let me know the process of how that yeah, works. Well, I mean, our process obviously here is um, when you get past the uh, oh, my God, mm -hmm. uh, is, is OK, so. Where are we? You know, um, you know, you put on the news programs, and you know that's what I do. Uh, and then you wait for the office of emergency management and to to uh, to call, and you start to make your own calls. Uh, and and we immediately put out uh, calls to our commissioners, uh, tell us if there's any damage. Uh, the police department, fire department, uh, our schools, um, just monitoring everything and everyone, and doing it in in basically uh, in within minutes and seconds and and everything came back pretty quickly that uh, that we were okay and so and then and obviously when people are afraid and they're making 911 calls uh is to the extent they were doing it it's important for us to get our message out there that everything's okay and and we were and all this has to be done in a matter of minutes good thing is we were all together uh so we when this was happening so we were able to pr act pretty rapidly Wow. Mayor, thank you so much um, for keeping us updated on this. And of course, you're telling uh, the residents of Yonkers that things are okay. No structural damage reported. Kids are in school. Kids are fine uh, is what is the message you want to share. Thank you so much uh, for sharing it with us. It's good. To, it's a good one to share. Um, yeah, it's important.